Well, just moments ago, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is saying downtown Midland could be under several feet of water. And just to give you an idea of how far we are from downtown, only two and a half miles. But right behind me here, this is where some of the people who are ordered to evacuate have been brought. Some of them in their own cars, some of them by bus. This here is Midland High School. Now that dam collapsed in Edenville, causing widespread damage. People forced from their homes. We spoke with one man tonight from Metro Detroit who has a cottage up here and says when the dam collapsed, his cottage got hit hard. Some of my, the full time neighbors that I got, uh, it was it. It was it was grab the kids and go around 5:45 p.m. Tuesday. Midland County Dispatch and Emergency Management reported the Edenville Dam had collapsed. The damage for the whole area around here is is just uh, it, it's just tremendous. John Smilnack lives in Metro Detroit and has a cottage along the Titabawassee River. He says his place is under several feet of water. Governor Gretchen Whitmer speaking on the dam collapse. I've been in touch with many local leaders in Midland, and we will stay in close contact as the situation progresses. I want to say again, if you are in one of these impacted areas, please, right now, evacuate. Life-threatening flash flooding is expected from this dam collapse until the morning hours Wednesday. John says his cottage and so many other full-time residences have been hit hard from the dam breach. Earlier today, we, we counted there's at least uh, between 70 to 100 houses that are pretty much, uh, like I said, three, four, five feet underwater. So, and that, that's just in our area. So again, this is a live shot here. Just one of the shelters where people are being brought who are forced to evacuate. Again, this is Midland High School. Now we do have a complete list of all the shelters where people can go to who are forced to evacuate. Some people can drive there. There is a bus that is bringing people here to the high school as well. We do have a full list on our website, WXYZ.com. But again, tonight, Governor Gretchen Whitmer issuing an emergency declaration and says the state will do whatever they can to help. For now, reporting live, I'm Alan Campbell. Carolyn, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, your heart just breaks for all of those families. Thank you so much, Alan.